Today is Thursday. I think I've done great things, but I don't think I've explained it well enough to the American public. Time for that radio show again. I know it sounds so silly, but I feel like love conquers all. If you're going to snack during the commercial, at least show some manners. It's obvious that your mother did not raise you right. What do you think of say someone like Lady Gaga? Are you a fan of her? Lady Gaga's fantastic. She's great. The problem was we passed in 1994, in fact. The yep, bill. Now we're back to 1994. This is why your stupidity gets in the way of rational right. discussion. I have been afflicted with a very dreaded disease. And that doesn't mean I'm not smart and tough and strong. This is one of the Senate's uh, finest days in recent years, and I commend everyone. Don't commend me. Command means you've done a great job. Oh, well, thank you. I hate morning time. I hate it worse than I hate applause for other people. Emailing and texting, it's a fine art. It's like poetry. I'm never sending another text message as long as I live because I don't like a phone that tries to predict the words I'm trying to send to people. I tried to send a text message to my friend. Don't text message somebody and call them and say, did you get my message? Showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Potentially another seismic shift in the way we consume media could take place. YouTube has announced a new feature through which it will take on cable. The video platform has announced YouTube TV, a $35 bundle that lets subscribers watch more than 40 TV channels, including all four major U.S. broadcast networks. Programming on the featured channels will be broadcast live, but a DVR feature will let users save an unlimited number of their favorite shows in the cloud and watch them later. In a neat feat of technology, you'll be able to record an entire unlimited number of shows at the same exact time. The entire product is designed to work seamlessly on mobile, desktop, and digital TV devices, just like the good old-fashioned YouTube. The launch lineup for YouTube will include ABC, Fox, CBS, and NBC, as well as dozens of other cable channels. Lady Gaga is going to follow up her hit Super Bowl 51 halftime show by replacing Beyonce at Coachella. Gaga will be the headline act both Saturday nights at the music festival in Indio, California. Beyonce had to cancel her previously scheduled appearance on doctor's orders as she is pregnant with twins. People are losing their minds about a zoo in New York that has a live webcam of a giraffe waiting to give birth. If you think that sounds interesting, this website is for you. Across America, millions of people are glued to the giraffe cam at Animal Adventure Park in New York, waiting for April the giraffe to deliver her baby. But once there's no zoo live streaming a giraffe giving birth, how will you spend your time? Introducing Timesuck.com. 125 individual webcams and feeds guaranteed to delight and amaze. There's Root Canal Cam. Watch as Dave Mullen of Iowa gets the teeth drilled out of his head. Fascinating. Now the Little Brat Cam. Watch as Stevie Jensen, a fussy four-year-old from Missouri, sits at his family's dinner table, refusing to eat a single Brussels sprout. Heart-pounding action. That is unacceptable. And don't forget Fiber Cam, discreetly hidden in the bathroom of Chester Lumley of Port Arthur, Texas. You'll know the instant Chester's fiber supplement relieves his constipation. All these great feeds and more to suck your time away once April pops out her calf. Log in today. Timesuck.com. President Trump addressed a joint session of Congress Tuesday night. No one bothered to correct him when he said it was the biggest crowd ever for a speech to a joint session of Congress. The Trump administration will apparently exercise greater enforcement of recreational marijuana laws. Well, there goes Team America's odds in the X Games. Over the weekend, Vice President Mike Pence tweeted his support for Israel, but accidentally used the Nicaraguan flag instead of the Israeli flag. The White House says there's a perfectly good reason why he did it. Nobody knows what the hell they're doing there. An international group of scientists say we shouldn't try to resurrect extinct species. I agree. I think things are working just fine without Democrats. A French historian flying in from Paris to attend a symposium was arrested and detained for 10 hours at a Houston airport. He was subject to an intense line of questioning about the unusual popularity of Jerry Lewis there. A teenage driver in Houston stepped on the gas rather than the brake and sent his car off a seven-story 
concrete parking garage. Fortunately, he only suffered minor injuries. Goodbye, college. Hello, stuntman academy. A new study has been published providing more evidence that straight women have fewer orgasms than men during sex. Still no word on why that study was stuck on my fridge. Time for Nobody Gives a Fuck. It's rumored that the next iPhone may feature a curved screen and wireless charging. Regardless of the new features, it's guaranteed to frustrate your parents. Hey, iPhones, nobody gives a f BlackBerry unveiled a new smartphone. Oh, yeah, replied the year 2002. Hey, BlackBerry, nobody gives a f And Demi Lavato has revealed that she's 1% African. So she's part African, part Mexican, and part about to be deported by President Trump. Hey, former no talent Disney kid, nobody gives a f Thanks everybody, we have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.